Hi, Cancer. Some sage and some rose petals to cleanse the space. Three chimes to bring in positive energy. This is a general reading for the sign of Cancer. If you have Cancer anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Cancer. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for stopping in and viewing this reading. Um, I do hope that you find a message in this reading for you. My name is Greta. I am an intuitive reader. We do use the tarot. We use the sun, the moon, um, the planetary placements to help decipher um, the energy that is surrounding you and the experiences that you're having in your life at this time. Again, I am an intuitive reader, and so intu intuition is my go-to. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, if this was your first time tuning in, a little bit about the layout of this reading. When we look at this first row, that top row, we will be looking at your public life, your professional life, your career life, and the energy that is surrounding you there. And the second row is your home life, your personal life, um, your family life, um, husbands, wives, um, children, um, close friends many times will show up in that second row. This third row, this final row, is final thoughts, final messages, final takeaway. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of cancer. What would we like cancer to know or to be aware of? during or for this reading. And I love that you have the sun card as the foundation, the basis of your reading. And the sun card is the happiest card in the deck. And that is forced by the five of wands. But before we get into the reading, let's practice our intuition. If Again, if this is your first time tuning in, what we do or what we have is just these uh, ESP cards, these intuition cards, and we've just been giving them a quick shuffle. And I will select one of these cards and I will send that image to you. And at the end of the card, or at the end of the reading, we will reveal the card. Oh. And I'm sending that to you at this time. If any time during this reading you do believe you know what that card is, do write it in the combat box. If not, no worries. We can always uh, just double check. We do these things for ourselves, Cancer. And... Cancer, the foundation, the basis of this week's reading is the sun card. The sun, which is the happy, happiest card in the tarot. Just think of all the wonderful blessings that the sun rains down on us. And the sun is definitely raining blessings down on you this week. And that is backed by the Five of Swords. There's a conflict, and this is a, like it's a practice conflict. Um, it's just maybe more of a nuisance. Stepping away from the nuisance, stepping away from the chaos that does not involve you so that you can experience sun, that you can experience that internal happiness, internal bliss. And let's see how those cards play into the rest of your reading, Cancer. We start off with the Seven of Swords. Feeling stuck. Um, being at a place of impasse 
wanting to separate ourselves followed by the Knight of Cups being more concerned about our spiritual, more concerned about our emotional well-being and our emotional stability. The Ten of Swords endings. Something is ending. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Many times this Seven of Cups is one of the more difficult cards for me to decipher. This week, the Seven of Cups in your reading is dealing with our shadow self, dealing with our inner being, connecting with our spiritual self. If you have been watching your last few readings or if you watch your last few readings, um, this past few months we really have been talking and spirit has really been bringing up your spiritual journey. You've started or are on the path, the spiritual path, the spiritual awakening. This week, the spiritual path, the spiritual awakening begins to play a more important role in your work life in your career up until this point there's been a degree of separation but now that you are well on your path or have committed to the spiritual journey the spiritual path it is having more of an effect in your public life and um, people are beginning to notice this. People are beginning to sense this about you. You are ready to step out of the spotlight and to let others take the lead. Your preference or you would prefer to spend more energy on your personal life, on personal growth, on spirituality. It's you're taking a step back from the hustle and bustle of professional life, of the hustle and bustle of your uh, career, your work life, you're taking a step back from that chaos. You're taking a step back from that in order to experience the sun, in order to experience um, your spirituality, in order to experience emotional health and emotional well-being. I'm so happy for you this week, Cancer. It is nice. And, you know, maybe it's not always about stepping back. Sometimes it's about letting our emotional health and our emotional well-being spill out onto others that surround us. And as our emotional health our emotional well-being spills out onto others around them, it does calm our work environment. It does calm our professional life. We just bring that tranquility. We bring that peace. We bring that centeredness into everywhere we go and into everything that we're doing. And 
I definitely see that happening for you here, Cancer. We have the Page of Pentacles, a gift, a gift of appreciation, something new, something fresh, a new idea, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups represents spiritual gifts, um, emotion, again, spiritual gifts, emotional stability, the gift of spirit, the two of cups, The Two of Cups in tarot represents partnerships, um, working relationships. The uh, a relationship with others, or it can represent relationship with self. Um, to in tarot or even in numerology represents balance, um, it, contrast, um, partnerships, and choices. And the hanged man, which is enlightenment. And I'm not surprised to see this card in your reading cancer as you have been or are on or beginning your journey of spiritual enlightenment and really learning to trust your uh, spiritual spiritual self, um, source, your connection with spirit. I would almost venture to say that spirit has been talking with you. Um, spirit has been wanting to communicate with yourself. And uh, thank you, spirit. Spirit has been communicating with you. And anytime spirit communicates with us, um, it's very unique. It's like learning a new language, a new language that is unique to us. And as spirit has been talking with you, um, spirit has been guiding you, um, there's been some confusion because we've been wanting to validate with outside sources. And the outside sources that we're wanting to validate with are having a different, a unique experience. And so you're coming to the point, you're coming to the phase in your spiritual development, your development of intuition, of learning to trust self, of learning to trust our intuition and not needing that outside validation. There is like there's an aha moment. There's an aha moment where it, it just clicks. It just falls into place. Um, perhaps some of you have been trying 
to help or guide another on their path. Um, perhaps a close family member or a close friend or even self. But this week, It's the aha moment. They finally get it. Uh, you finally get it. And them getting it, them understanding it, is a gift within itself. A gift within itself. Watching others learn is a gift. Understanding the process that we have taken to learn is a gift. Um, watching or waiting for that aha moment or waiting for them to experience that aha moment can sometimes be stressful, but that is coming to an end. Now comes the fun part. Um, now comes the, um, yeah, now comes the fun part of this journey. The enjoyable part of this journey is coming or is here for you, Cancer. Watching things manifest, watching things take shape, and watching them, or even living a life that is genuine to us, that is joy, that is happiness, that is enlightenment. That is followed by the King of Wands taking action on our passions, our desires. The Nine of Pentacles. I like to call the Nine of Pentacles the getting ready to be ready. It's about gathering the physical, seeing it in the physical, Thing, seeing things take shape. And seeing things take shape, manifesting our dreams and seeing that and being able to really um, put our hands on that and describe that. The Knight of, Con the Knight of Swords taking action, maybe taking action too quickly or too soon The King of Swords agreements, agreements, there are times when selfishness is what is needed. Our selfishness, our perceived selfishness, can cause or form a protection. What I'm saying is, for example, when we open ourselves up to source, when we open ourselves up to spirit through prayer and even through meditation, it's important that we close or we seal that meditation before continuing with our day. If we do not close or we do not seal after opening ourselves up to spirit, we allow um, 
outside forces, um, the energy that is surrounding us, the energy that other people bring into our lives, we allow that energy into our personal space. And so while it may seem selfish that um, we're closing or sealing certain aspects of our lives off, it is important and it does form a protection. At this time, especially since we're growing and we're experiencing that spiritual growth, it's important that when we're done with our practice, when we're done with our connection, when we're done connecting with spirit, that we put in place a little ritual to seal that off so that outside forces, outside energy cannot enter our inner sanctum. And that is the message that I have for the sign of cancer. Thank you, cancer. You have a blessed week. Cancer, I almost forgot. I started taking up your cards and then I remembered. What did we forget? We forgot. And were you able to pick the X or even the lattice? Trusting our intuition. And it's like earlier in the reading when we were talking about learning a new language. And so maybe some of you did select the double X, but if you thought lattice or if you thought hugs and kisses, that is correct. There's no right and wrong way. And that's why many times um, during the reveal of the intuition card, I will say it's, it's about practice, not about perfection. And the practice is learning how spirit is communicating with us, how source is communicating with us, how we're connecting with our intuition. So maybe you did not think that that was a double X or that that was a kiss or that that was lattice but maybe you did think of something else. And if you did think of something else, keep note, keep track of that. And that is your way, that is the beginning of your path of trusting and learning how spirit is speaking with you. Thank you, Cancer. Have a blessed week.